Shall I do the outro to my video first because mine's first? Yes. And then you do your intro, intro outro, and, and then you do. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, I don't. Have the human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> see it, see. <laughs> <laughs> These outros are right themselves. Oh. Travelling Blade here, welcome to my part of the, the new podcast, TSL, what we're calling it. Um, this is part three, and we're talking about a few different things, who's going to be breaking into the first team, any worries we've got. I think looking who's pushing for a start, I mean, um, before the Blackburn game anyway, but that probably didn't do his case any well. Um, but Ollie McBurney, I mean, I, I'll be surprised from what I've seen with what Wilder's said in his interviews and such. I'll be surprised if McBurney doesn't start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I think he's I got saw that to. One. Yeah, I mean, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't even play. To be fair, both Sharp and McBurney taken out of the game. It was another one of them where we try and play it up to him, and they just it was like you know wrestle him out of the game, and he's getting nothing given because he's like you know quite he's a big you know big yeah. lad. Um, I think he's definitely, I'd be surprised if he didn't start. Yeah, I reckon he'll start tomorrow. Wilder said, didn't he, um, it, the interviewer asked about McBurney and asked about Norwood and he said, um, oh, uh, why are you trying to do my team talk for me or something like that? So <laughs> you know you know he's going to play both of them too. But yeah. in the Blackburn game, did we play our style? I don't really know what it was. It was like a crap tribute act to it. Really? <laughs> I feel it like always, yeah. we always kind of took ourselves out of the cup, don't we, early? And I feel it's because... I don't think it's... Shout out to Barnett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like it's because we want to. Probably Wilder does want to deep down once they get out of the cup as quick as possible. But are these players kind of um, playing this style of football? I'm, I'm sure they'll be playing it in training, mm, but yeah. at the same time, if you're not used to it, in a in a match situation, yeah. it must be difficult to just drop in and and do exactly what they're doing yeah. week in week out. I mean, it was sort of blended. Like, there was like a few first teamers. You had um, Norwood. To be honest, that was probably about it for first teamers. Stevens came on. It was ten Charles changes, really. played. Yeah. Um, but one thing that was clear was that there was a lack of chemistry there. Yeah. Which I think made you realise. Um, I think people have like, overreacted with how bad we played. We didn't really. They weren't great, but it weren't horrendous. It wasn't like, oh, this is really crap. It was a sort of like, we just wasn't clicking. Uh, like, it just wasn't that the lack of chemistry. So yeah. there was rush passes, mm. pass like there was. They were panicking with the passes, yeah. hasty. To try and get it out of defence, they weren't. They were just kicking it away. It was like yeah. I remember like, being back at primary school in defence. You just get it, you just kick it. Mm. It was like they were just got like, oh, it's out of the box, but it wasn't yeah. going twenty one. Then Blackburn would be straight back on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, passes from defence to midfield, then within midfield, mm. forward. Just, I mean, I think we had like um, two or three shots in the game, yeah. two on target. I mean, we were clinical at least. <laughs> yeah. But it was just, thing. or there were like there were times where like there'd be two people in each other's way, mm. or they wouldn't know what the, there was just no cohesion to it. Yeah. Um, like even like Jags a lot of times like he passed it back to Moore and it was too hard and it had to go out for a corner and stuff. Mm. So. There's just lack of cohesion. It was disjointed. Yeah, it, that's yeah. what everyone said. It's disjointed. I mean, Wilder said himself. I think yeah. that I'll take the blame for that because I made ten changes. Yeah. I guess we've got a uh, if you if you're slipping one put slipping if you're <laughs> slotting <laughs> one player into it, it doesn't mess up your chemistry too much. No. No. But when you're making wholesale changes like that, yeah. it's it's like sticking a brand new team together and saying go out and play. Yeah. Well, it is, it, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For the first time. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I doubt they have an A and B team in training. Yeah. I know uh, Wilder said Lee's is fighting for a uh, first team place. When, what did you see him that you thought he could possibly push for a first team start? What do you think he's a way off? Maybe not starting soon. Um, bench, he may be on tomorrow. Um, maybe not. I mean, of course it's going to be on or not. But I'd be. I'm not I'm trying to work out if I'd be surprised or not if he was on the bench. I'd be mm. better, if he started, I'd be surprised. Yeah. I'm thinking, mm. You can't just go from nothing. To then coming on at Blackpool and then all right, you're up front for Stamford Bridge. I mean, I think he sh he looked lively. He seemed to make he looked quite good on the ball. There was a bit where he sort of like ran down. The the, the shot didn't work out. and sort of like lost his balance, but he ran through. But you know, dribbled past a few. Um, 
looked fairly agile for that, you know, decent, not too, it weren't like um, a Bamiyang pace, but yeah. still quite, he wasn't slow either, um, he looked to be, looking at like playing dangerous runs, you know, where that would lead to like Norwood trying to like get it over to him and that, so he looked quite lively and causing problems and such, rather than being, it definitely wasn't static, that was like the complete opposite of him, right. um, he looks quite comfortable on the ball, um, fairly slick, alright, he's not, maybe not, He's sort of like a blend bit. I think he's sort of like an in-between McBurney and Robinson. Yeah. I think that's probably what his game sort of is. Because mm. um, he's sort of, you know, he's, he's more nimble and, quick than, and probably, you know, slick on the ball than McBurney. Uh -huh. But he's got a bit more about him to hold people off. So he's probably more of a target man than Robinson is. Yeah. But I thought he was decent. I was, I was also really impressed. Like, again, a few rough edges. Yeah. Then again, the whole team was... Even Norwood had rough edges that night. It was Bessage. Mm. I think Loves he was. Tackle. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, I've got um, my flatmate. Shout out to Tom if he's watching. He's mm. a big Everton fan, and um, he said like he was a bit of a fan's favourite there, but just couldn't quite get into the team and never really got a fair chance. Um, so I thought he'd probably fit in here you know, if he gets on with fans and that. Yeah. He just wants to play for the shirt and that because mm. we, you know, Dean Henderson, few yeah, games and he was already yeah. fans favourite. Yeah. Rabel. I, I, I'm, I've got a soft spot for Arav. I do as well. Yeah. yeah. Viva, viva la revolution. Come on. Mm. That, I thought it was class. I mean, he had that bit at the end where he like, slid someone in their own half and it was oh. like, there, there he is, the bad boy that yeah. put the kids out of Man United. <laughs> That's why he's with Sheffield United. Yeah. <laughs> he could have been sent off quite. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they asked Tony Moe, he like, said, oh, shouldn't it have been already? Like, it probably should have been. And I was like, I wouldn't be that surprised if it was given. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can't ask for his opinion, he needs to be defeated with ball boys. <laughs> yeah. Get out. But no, I think he's classy. It's like, I think something wild said, like, oh, I create something out of nothing. We've mm. created nothing at half, really. We, yeah. like, we were one up through, well, because their keeper missed the catch. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he just sort of ran into the ball, like, he sped in, a bit of trickery, mm. just passed it to Karma's and Karma's a light to Norwood to finish yeah. it. And I think he's. I mean, I mean, like we talk about the Duffy role. I mean, there may be any now after this season a Ravel role because yeah. I think the way he plays, it's it's not like it's. I'm not kind of like comparing to Freeman. Not saying one's better than the other, but they're both very tricky, very good on the ball, attacking midfielders. But I think they're quite different. Yeah. Um. I, I think Ravel's probably not too far off playing up front. Yeah. Just be obviously not as like the. Um, Was well, like a, having a three in midfield and then a one and a one. Potentially, yeah, something like that. Just him behind, maybe. Just, um, I think he could probably get away with that. But I think he's great. And I mean, how I reckon he'll be on the bench tomorrow. I don't think. I think the midfield will probably be. I mean, again, I don't know who would start in mid. Who started um, Leicester? It was um, because the Fleck didn't start, did it? No, it was, um, the only change I think for Leicester Freeman, was yeah. Freeman for Fleck. Wasn't Freeman it? started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean. I'd, I'm not sure how like Freeman. I mean, the whole team off the ball, but I'd still like to see Freeman start. I imagine it would mm. be Norwood, because while I don't really like to make so drastic changes, changes yeah, yeah. Um, unless, unless it's Blackburn. <laughs> yeah, even, we signed a load of players, but the first the first game, the only new one was Robinson. The rest yeah. were the same as last season. I, I All right, Henderson, but mm. I think I think the only reason Robinson got in was his pre-season as well. Yeah. yeah. If it hadn't been for that, I reckon it'd been Sharp and McGoldrick. Mm. Yeah. I think though, if we'd have signed Bernie a lot earlier. McBurney would yeah, have had a full three season with us, I like the Robinson had. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I think Bestich is maybe he could really do a job for us. I think. Mm. Um, it's know, a long season though, isn't it? It's not yeah. a long season. We've got so many options though. It's, so, it's so, yeah. such a nice place to be. And we're thinking, God, he's good. We could, we could play that. You could play that. Like mm. if you had FIFA this year, I don't know who I'd chuff him play. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'd sell a lot of them. Yeah, sell a lot. Of <laughs> If they haven't got a game face this season, I'm selling them. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they've got real faces, they can stay in team. Yeah. And then, um, I think, uh, we won't be pushing for a first team, but I think we've got to give a shout-out to Simon Moore. Yeah. It was great to see him back. penalty again. save as well. Was it, was a good yes. it was a very good A lot yeah, of penalty yeah. saves, you like, a crap penalty. Oh, and he was straight up as well afterwards, weren't he? Four rebounds. Yeah. They're like our Munich against yeah. Leicester. <laughs> like, it was like, as well, it was, it was one-handed. It wasn't like he'd, he'd gone underneath it and just palmed it away. Yeah. To, to get his hand out like that. Yeah. So you see keepers doing that, that shows talent. Mm. And he's never been a bad keeper. No, I am. No. Yeah, I'm unlucky, is he? He is unlucky that, you know, you probably can't wait to see the back of Dean. No, no. <laughs> it's like, oh, I decided. <laughs> oh, good news. And then he's got Captain Sore Fingers to contend with. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got for it. Jesus. Yeah. But um, I think, like, it was great to see him back, you know, Centurion done so much yeah. for us. Mm. 
and he had a great game because there was another one there was obviously the penalty save which grabbed the headlines yeah. there was one where they played I don't know who played who through but it was Blackburn I'm thinking oh they're in it and he just came out shut them down was that the Dak one? Uh, yeah in front of the cop and that just came out just made himself massive like a just full on mm. tie but came out they got nothing from it yeah. and it was it was good all game to be fair uh, distribution was decent it didn't mm. didn't put a foot wrong and I think it was unlucky to not get man of the match. I mean, I was torn between. Yeah. I, vote, I think I voted for Ravel on the night. Yeah. But I was like, oh, shit, should I have given it more? I felt yeah. bad because he probably came second or something. Yeah. But um, so if um, Henderson gets injured, are you happy with him to slot in that role? I think I would. I'm, yeah. I mean, part of me deep down, but like, oh, here we go. Just because I remember the Barnet game, mm. they had a shot and it sort of like he got down and it sort of went past him a bit. It didn't go in, but yeah. it was like, gee, it was like one of them where. But then again, Henderson passed it to Leeds, so we can't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every keeper's got to be yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything back in, you know. It's like when Coops came back from his injury. Yeah. It's like, you know, they one of the Centurions as well. Yeah, definitely. Man City yeah. fans, is only one Centurions. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be hard. I think it's down to the fans. Um, I've got to admit, sometimes, I mean, when when we when we're rocking, we're probably the best in the world. Yeah. But we can go quiet at Bramall Lane. Last yeah. season, I'm thinking. Come on, like we're watching bloody good football here yeah. against a side pushing for promotion or something for playoffs, and I'm thinking I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a bit louder in League One when yeah. it was like 18. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, like, I'm on a little rant about that. Yeah, a little rant. I'm on, I'm on a look at you all. There's two sections to little gangway G on the cop. The ones on the right, which we sit at, we'll try and sing a song, and unless it's your song to the left, you don't join in. Join in. We sing your songs. <laughs> Everybody get behind team and sing the same song. It's not a competition or who's loudest. We're Gangway G. We'll sing what. Just everybody sing. For Christ's sake. Wow. I didn't know that were a thing. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. You you are. Are. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not okay, bud. I'm not okay, bud. <laughs> what I've DM me. DM me. He's <laughs> commenting on that, though. He's like, I agree. Like, because I sit like. Um, You're central, aren't you? Halfway down Gangway F. So I'm still on that right chunk with you, but your G, I'm like, just to the F. And it's like the. Back of the centre, isn't it? Like the middle, uh, the back, like yeah. the middle of the back bit. They, they always get singing, and I'll be sat there once, and I'm like, sort of in this no man's land of chanting, <laughs> and it's like they'll just be like, I'll hear one from the back, and it's like a real. I'm thinking, right, I've got to try and get this, and yeah. the guy next to me sort of joins in as well. So and then somebody starts singing a different song on the side of God. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, I'll let you guys start singing one. I'm like, oh, we'll get onto that. And then they go on one, and I'm like, well, I, I don't know what rhythm it is. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like being on stage with a the band, they're playing one song, you're trying yeah. to sing another. It's just like, it's worse what than, do I do? All? It's worse at the beginning of the game when Annie's song sounds like it's got an echo. Because people are trying to do it. Yeah. It's all the same song that yeah. the speakers are singing. That happened, um, oh, what game was it now? I forget which game it was, but I was like, yeah. It was like them, and then us. Yeah. Like, and then, like, it's your, it's your line now. I might have been in Bournemouth or something. <laughs> it's hard at away games, granted. Yeah. And, then, and then, I'm like, for those of us in the area where we're not in one of those cores, where you go, right, I've got to latch onto a song. Yeah. You go, right, shit, w- what's happening? Like, <laughs> yeah. which song are we singing? What's going on? As long as it's noisy, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we can, I mean, maybe we'll, I hope that we're better this season, but I think last season, I remember games where we'd have to wait. For something to really yes. annoy us, yeah. we'd have to wait for one of them to like start fighting with a player, foul one of us, or the ref to just make a load of bad decisions, and only then did we get loud. Because mm. and then like maybe like we'd do something decent and then go, come on, everyone would be yeah. behind them. But before that, it was so like, nothing positive. So like, if a good tackle goes in or. Or keep well, I suppose that like if you ball. see, I tell, I tell you what. if you see that, there'd be something. But I think there'd be times where you think you need to get behind them. And they just weren't. It's like we shouldn't. We shouldn't have to wait for a bad referee decision. Because mm. I mean, I think hopefully, I think it will be, and I think it is better this season. But I think it was the um, the one I remember vividly for that. The perfect example is the derby game about Christmas time. Like, yeah. Because it was at the end when we were like went three one up. It was like electric. It was yeah. electric. But it had to take could... them pushing Dean Henderson. In the net for it to yeah. get going. Yeah. Before that, all right, we were one up, I think. I cheered. Actually, nothing. We had to wait for that free kick to go in. We got pissed off at the ref for not giving a foul on a goal yeah, in the yeah, box. Then we got pissed off at him for giving the free kick. Wilson scored the banner, mm. and then we're like, oh, you know, annoyed at ref. And then when they started like fighting Henderson, 
just because he picked the ball up. Mm. It took us, yeah, we got electric, but it took that. Yes. Yeah. It took that, even though we were 1-0 up, yeah. it took the goal, like, yeah, you get that peak and then the trough. It took that, and hopefully we're not relying on that this season, because when we're good, we're incredible. Yeah. But hopefully we don't have to rely yeah. on that. It shout, should be... Shout out to Big Rob on this one. I don't usually put this in the vlog, but I might do it now for a fucking example. But he... Um, Every game, anybody who sits near us will tell you, so they go, oh, get behind them, why do we only start singing when we're one nil down or when this happens? We react to negativity. Yeah. Is yeah. that the inner Sheffield doing yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't get it. I think it is a thing. I mean, it'd be nice if we kept it going, like, supported, you know, because I mean, it feels, especially this season, like every game is some sort of cup game, you know? Yes. We're like, everyone's, we're like going to be the underdog for like, pretty much maybe every game going mm. into it sometimes. Especially away from home. Yeah. yeah. Um, Again, until we plant its feet, really. Mm. Yeah. We're going to think that every oh, no, no, no. Game. We're always the underdog with rubbish us. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Come at us. I felt <laughs> like this coming into the championship, though. Yeah, yes. I did. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's at all, well, the, the step from championship to premiership is different from the you want to championship, but like, yeah, I, well, I it's, really massive. Like, it's massive. It's massive. From, it's a league massive. massive. Championship. Good hand straight away. <laughs> the, one of the best things I've heard is one of the most, one of the more level headed, fair Wednesday fans is not like, you know, Tango or anything getting kicked out of Millmore. Or Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's, fair, he's quite fair with his comments, he's quite level headed, he's not bitter or anything. Yeah. Or, um, so, yeah, you can actually have a decent conversation and it's a, a nice break. Yeah. Time yeah. And, um, but even he was saying when we came up, he said, like, oh, you know, it's, um, it's, it's different championships, it's different quality, you know, you, you're gonna need, you, you, it takes something really good to beat teams and that. And, um, he said, it's, it's not one of them, you know, one of them traditional Royal the Rovers kind of thing where here go Billy Sharp steps up and scores. Yeah. So 20 goals later, <laughs> into the Premier League, yeah. who's not scoring for us again? But according to Sky Sports News, we have got a striker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, remember yeah. that? <gasps> oh, brilliant. We're about eight of them now. We've divulged again, but this Sky Sports News, put get your finger out your bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. See, I said bottoms instead of arse. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> <not good. laughs> what, we, what we're worried about this season, and uh, I know we're going to say nothing, but there's got to be a couple of little bits. Injuries. Really? What about? I think we're quite good in depth. I know you want to lose your best players. It's Chef United. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? We, we could, we could, go, through, we could go through an eight-person injury crisis toward the end of the season. Jesus. Do you know what, though? Um, I watched the Leeds documentary. You, you've watched it as well. I, watch, I watched the last two episodes. The yeah. only ones you want to watch. <laughs> And um, what they were saying was Bielsa's style of football, kind of like um, close, close, yeah. yeah. But I think I, I don't think ours is the same. Don't get me wrong, but no. we have that high intensity, like closing down. Yes, we don't have many injuries, do we? Touchwood, like oh, even man, no. Sorry, sorry. Touchwood, it's fine. <laughs> Pat Henderson will be broken arm tomorrow. <laughs> well, I can still play. <laughs> I'll do it with one. <laughs> but we had uh, obviously we had the coup situation, which yeah. can't help. Uh, we had a, a bit of a weird right wing back situation where Freeman got injured, then Bulldog got injured, then Freeman got injured, then Bulldog got injured. Man like Crane. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. But Miss other, you. But oh. other than that, like, we've done quite well. Yeah. And this to is say, what we're to say it. this we're, is our football, this is our style of football. To be fair, we've, done, to, we've done too well. This is yeah. what I'm worried about. I know, when it's, um, it's like, um, I'm about doing too well. I saw a Donny Rovers fan the other day. He said, "Oh, a bubble's burst." I was like, "At least we fucking got a bubble." You know, in I was third division these days. Bubbles burst. I lose by <laughs> one goal. <laughs> you few pigs did this. Yeah. Palace fans were doing it. I don't, I don't go on banter pages apart from to post my vlogs on cheap vlogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like, oh, don't see shit. No, it's bubbles burst. What? What bubble? We're meant to be getting stuff five nil every week. What uh -huh. bubbles burst? I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? What about Villa? They, they had a right poor start. It's oh. lost first two. 4.2. Yeah. yeah, I know, I mean... I, I hope not, because I, I genuinely hope Villa stay up. Yeah, I do. I've got no... Dis so, so, I've got a level of respect for them as a club. I think they are a proper, a traditional club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Villa Park. I hope that never mm -hmm. goes. I hope they don't build something new. No, I hope I want so. that to stay. It's yeah. one of my favourite they, away days. They are what Leeds shout about being. Yeah. Leeds They're quite about. understated, aren't they, I yeah. think? To say they are the size that they are and a true sleeping giant. Yeah, mm. they are, definitely. Um, you know, I think they're quite understated. I don't think... All right, I imagine Birmingham City and Wolves fans have a very different opinion. Oh, of course they're they going to. Oh, of course they are. Um, but I think 
they're quite understated. I've never known had them be that arrogant. Yeah. Even when even after like we had that embarrassment against them at Villa Park, yeah. the comments on the I mean because they were happy, they weren't too yeah. novelish yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, it was football by the way. Yeah, they were, they were they were all like I can't believe it. They were like yeah. they were like yeah. oh yeah, they were just buzzing. we should have won four three. They were like I can't believe it. They yeah. weren't that arrogant with it. Yeah. Villa and Man U were only two sleeping giants. Uh, people said Newcastle. Newcastle aren't a sleeping giant. Newcastle had one really, really good season. Fucked it up and yeah. whatever about it. They've got the size. I mean, you've got me swearing now. <laughs> but the Leeds are and all. Leeds have got yeah. the size. They're a one club city. Yeah. Birmingham's got two. And um, then Brom and Chuffins and Wolves. Walsall can count Walsall. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty. The, the mighty. Like, we don't play them anymore. Oh they they yeah. always beat us. <laughs> they had that centurion <laughs> season, but there will always be that wart of that 4 1 loss away. Yeah. They beat us three times that season. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do you do this to us, Walsall? <laughs> Why? We could have Messi and Ronaldo start, we'd go to Walsall, <laughs> we'd, we'd lose. Yeah. 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 Ronaldo will go. <laughs> Do you know what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> it's just Walsall, sadness. When we played them away that season, they're the only team that I've seen annihilated on the break. Yeah. Do you know when we like push everyone forward? We can beat fucking Palace, we can beat Lee, we can beat anyone, yeah. but Walsall Goal. just Walsall. caught us on the break every single time. Every time they went forward, it was goal. Yeah. I goal. It was like, what's going on? I talked to the players, Sharp was like, we, we kind of walked in that one and been arrogant. No, really? <laughs> There's bogey teams and then it's Walsall. They're, yeah. they're like the permanent thorn in our side. Yeah. Please don't get promoted to the Premier League. Yeah, well, what else were we like, worried about? On about the injuries though, I remember the end of last season when Sharp went out. Yeah. And everyone, because Leeds Sky was so far up Leeds as ours. Yes. Mm. And, um, Not like them. Yeah. And it was like, I remember like going to Leeds away. I felt like we were playing Sky Sports away. Yeah. Like, I thought everyone was there <laughs> wanting Leeds to win. Like, yeah. I, I didn't see the coverage, but I just imagine they were so going it for Leeds. It fits the narrative, doesn't it? it does. Yeah. Because well, yeah, they were saying, oh, Billy Sharp's gone, that's it yeah. now for Sheffield United. But then McGoldrick stepped up. Mm. And it's sort of like in the end of the Centurions where Clark stepped up. Yes, yeah. So even though we lost like our main firepower last season, McGoldrick, like, he was already doing all right. Yeah. But he stepped up. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I forget who we played alongside him for those games. But Hogan, weren't it? Oh, yeah. Scott Hogan. Hogan came in for a few. Mostly Hogan. Yeah. Maybe Medine. Medine had a few until he got sent off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chris Hogan, Medine. Yeah. But, but yeah. No, it was Scott Hogan, but he, he didn't do a great deal today. And I think we got the goal against Ipswich. Okay. Every, yeah, that, every yeah. time we get promoted, we have a certain player. We had Anson. Then we, it's like it's like yeah. Super Mario. And Anson <laughs> jumped on a mushroom and became Medine. <laughs> yeah. Who's so it, 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 it going to be this January? We're going to bring in Peter uh, Crouch. Yeah. 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 If you come back on the podcast, yeah. you sign it. <laughs> yeah. Andy Carroll were a flop at Newcastle. Come this way, yeah. you could be our upgrade this season. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Carroll, I really was. For, for five games, yeah. 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 Carroll and McBurney up top. Jesus. Watch out, Man City. <laughs> Do you know what? That leads into what I'm a little bit worried about, goals this season. I know mm. we've, we've scored three goals in three games, which isn't... Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. No. Uh, yeah, Bournemouth. Palace, Palace. Bournemouth. Leicester, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know I think we scored two in one of them games. Uh, so yeah, we've scored one goal in each game, one coming from McBurney um, on as a sub, which is quite good. Uh, Lundstrom scored, and uh, obviously Billy in the last minute. I, I just feel like we're not kind of scoring enough goals when we're on top. Yeah. And and uh, I think we've got a lot of start seasons like that. Though, yeah. The, yeah. Once we start sweating, going right, are we actually scoring? Yeah. When we first came from the championship, we we won one nil, then we lost quite a few, and then we start winning one nil, yeah. two one. Yeah, three one. And I mean, it might moving. have to be. Got to feet first. Yeah, it? it might have to be a bit scrappy. Mm. You know, a bit like Bournemouth esque. Yes. You know? Not saying Bournemouth to like our goal that Bournemouth. Yeah. Where it's just you know, I suppose McBurney was quite a quality goal. It was um, right, a great oh, delivery. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose Lundstrom was like an element of luck with that. You know, the keeper should have held onto it. Um, but there's gonna be. Yeah, I think if you look at all goals, you probably go, it won't happen again. It won't happen mm. again. I think I may, we might have to. I might have to settle for maybe more goals like that. Yeah. This yes. Yeah. Um, so well, Ravel starts pinging in top corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time we were in Premiership, Hulls were our top goal scorer. Yeah. He only scored seven. He got and injured, we thought, he? yeah, he did. He got injured like halfway through the season. But I remember him scoring about fifteen goals yeah. last season, <laughs> and it was like every goal meant so much, didn't it? So 
I always remember him scoring quite a lot of goals and he didn't. So, yeah, maybe... How many goals do you think we'll need as top goal scorer to score for us to stay up? Come back to it's a hard one to see, but... 12. 12. 12. Unless it's unless we get a midfielder who's also getting like eight, then we've got two players deadlocked on eight. I can't see that, I mean, if I'm honest. Not from not not from what we've got. Midfielders right for us, even from League One, have always like chipped in. Yeah. Mm. But never they've had like five or six. I think we've the got exception was like Freeman in League One. Yeah. But yeah. last season it was short, then McGoldrick, and then I don't even two. know. And then there's Bash, and then there's Jeff Egan, 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 yeah. I think yeah. I think we're gonna have to be more brave uh, from outside the area this season. It's Premier League, you're going to have to be. We, we don't, gonna sh- pass we don't shoot from distance, do we? We don't shoot from distance. We're going to have to learn. Yeah. Because we scored some screamers in Premiership last time we were here. Yeah, we did, yeah. So, goal of the month, I mean, it's pretty easy, isn't it? I mean, there's only one. Um, it's probably, I mean, looking back in May, looking back, <laughs> looking back, if we know, if we, it might, we might get to May, um, and I think maybe unless there's like some last ditch effort that keeps us up I reckon this one might even be mentioned I mean for me it'll always be one of my favourite moments at Sheffield United ever the the equaliser at Bournemouth from Billy Sharp uh, there was so much about that goal There's so it was how like that game you know we'd been written off and saying oh we play ugly unattractive direct football and we gave a really good account for itself unlucky to go um, you know it was just a few mistakes here and there in the box to went went um, 1-0 down. Both goals are basically the same goal. Yeah. Free kick in, around the yeah. box, someone gets a foot on it. And we, we, I thought, despite that, we played some really good football in that first game. But we played up to this tight and we got a little scrappy goal at the end. A good League One goal oh. from a <laughs> fat League One striker. And it was beautiful. It was incredible. Yeah. The finest strike of the ball you'll ever see. <laughs> and even connect with it that way. Just sort of like bundled it's in. It's still on it, So potent. It's it was really incredible. Though, isn't it? Right place, right time. He's not the biggest. He's not the quickest. Um, he's not the youngest, but his placement, um, I think like, I saw the, the pre-match ritual, and I think Lalar yeah. used to call him Poacher, is that his placement second to none. Um, I genuinely think that, because you can look at other people like Aguero, but Aguero's got a bit more pace about yeah. him and that, and better be a bit more tricky on the ball. I think Basham's got a bit more pace about him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, um, I mean, that goal when it went in, it was like, like you said, it just froze. I was like... Yeah. It couldn't have uh, been a better person. No, I didn't even realise it was him. I thought it was like McBurney because it was just bouncing around, and I just thought, oh, I think McBurney's there. It's gone yeah. in. Yeah. Froze. Then I like going mental, and then I thought, oh shit, she was sharp. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, remember, I, like, I remember your vlog. It's just that kid's legs going past you. <laughs> so as soon as you heard the words, it's sharp. This kid just went bang. <laughs> Surfing fast. I was like, when I realised it was him, I, was, I, I mean, it was already mental, but. I almost like sort of turned up when I saw it with yeah. Sharp. I was like, you know, you do cannot write scripts like this. Like that were the rumors stuff. I yeah. need to see that bloke again. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> it was absolute perfect. I mean, it was just the whole moment. First game away from home, twelve years out. Not as long as yeah. some that we won't mention. Um, and it was just probably the scrappiest goal. But it's probably going to be. I won't be surprised if it's, it might not win, but be a contender for goal of the season. Goal of the season. Yeah. Goal of, cause, just because of the, can we, all, can we all admit, when we watched Match of Day that night, we teared up a bit when that goal went in. Yeah. Yeah, when, it, when, it, when, it, when you saw, every time I saw crowd, like, fall down themselves and yeah. Sharp's face, it's like, yeah, not crying, you're crying. Not crying, you're crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're crying. It was oh, mad. I think Sharp's yeah. like, some of his family were there, I was thinking, that's the kids gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit a bit. Pass yeah. them out. <laughs> that way. <laughs> yeah, but no. Nah, but even the, do you see the photo afterwards? Him celebrating, and every player was just like, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah. yeah it, it just smart. felt. It just felt like a proper family moment. Yes. Yeah. Even ones that yeah. haven't been here, like, yeah, like even Robinson, with Bernie that's McGregor, just come yeah. in. It was like, all right. I suppose like Egan's only been here a year, but Egan's very much part of the family. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. But just everyone just like they all know what it means to him and that. Yeah. But it was just absolute. Then they brought Sharp on, I just thought, I remember thinking, like, I probably wouldn't bring him on now, I don't think many managers would bring him on now, no. but Wilder knows something. <laughs> Wilder knows, and um, I remember in one of his interviews, I think after he said, oh, he had a bit of an edge to him when, you know, he was getting stripped off to come yeah. on, and he was like, it was like he was saying to me, oh, I'll show you your bugger for not starting it, <laughs> and he did, it was just class, but check out the previous two parts as well. We've got part one on England Nick's channel where I do a brief on like all the games we've had so far. 
part two on Johnny's channel, we do a bit about Premier League fans. He's got about at least two rants in there, I think. Only as two. standard. Only two. So make sure you go and check those guys out, subscribe to their channels, and see you later.